reading from the book of Ecclesiastes. There is an appointed time for everything, and a time for everything under the heavens, a time to be born and a time to die, a time to plant and a time to uproot the plant, a time to kill and a time to heal, a time to tear down and a time to build, a time to weep and a time to laugh, a time to mourn and a time to dance. A time to scatter stones and a time to gather them. A time to embrace and a time to far, be far from embraces. A time to, time to seek and a time to lose. A time to keep and a time to cast away. A time to rent and a time to sell. A time to be silent and a time to speak. A time to love and a time to hate. A time of war and a time of peace. What advantage has the worker from his toil? I have considered the tasks that God has appointed for the sons of men to be busied about. He has made everything appropriate to, his, to its time and has put the timeless into, into their hearts. Without, man, without man's ever discovering from beginning to end the work which God has done the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responses. Blessed be, be the Lord, my rock. Blessed be the Lord, my rock. My mercy and my fort is my stronghold, my deliverer. My shield and helmet, I trust. Blessed be the Lord, my rock. The Lord is man, and that you notice him in the Son of Man. They take out of him. Man is like a breath, his days like a passing shadow. Blessed be the Lord my rock. The Son of Man came to serve and to give his life as a ransom for many. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. May the Lord be in our minds, on our lips, and in our hearts. Once, when Jesus was praying in solitude, and the disciples were with him, he asked them, Who do the crowds say that I am? They said in reply, John the Baptist. Others, Elijah. Still others, one of the ancient prophets has arisen. Then he said to them, But who do you say that I am? Peter said in reply, The Christ of God. He rebuked them and directed them not to tell anyone. He said, The Son of Man must suffer greatly and be rejected by the elders the chief priests and the scribes, and be killed, and on the third day be raised. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise 
Well, good morning, everybody. Good morning, Mrs. Settles. She's watching us. Right? No, no, no. I'm looking right here. Uh, Mrs. Settles, everybody was looking back that way as though you were standing along the wall by the piano. But we know that you are at your house and you are recovering. And we're praying for you, Mrs. Settles, in a very special way in this Mass. Aren't we kindergartners? We're praying for Mrs. Settles every day. Well, very good. I got to visit her the other day, and I brought her popcorn and tea and a big old smile. And so it was a lot of fun. Uh, boys and girls, today we celebrate um, a beautiful day. And our first greeting tells us that there's a time for everything in life. There's times when it's sunny outside. There's times when it's raining. There's times when it's fall, time when it's summer. Raise your hand. So there's four seasons of the year, fall, spring, winter, and summer. Raise your hand if the fall is your favorite time of the year. It's totally my favorite time of the year. Raise your hand if summer is your favorite time. Summer's kind of nice because you don't have to go to school. You can go outside and go swimming all the time. Raise your hand if winter, Christmas time, is your favorite time. I put my hand up on that one too. Okay, and then last one is spring when everything is coming back to life and the flowers are budding and things turn green again. Look at that. Some of us have four favorite seasons, boys and girls, which is okay because God is so good. But could you imagine if, could you imagine if the whole year round it was always summer? And you never had winter time. You never had snow. You never had, you never had Christmas. Or could you imagine if the whole year round as great as summer is, but or as great as winter is, what if it was always winter and always cold and always snowing and you never got to go swimming? You never got to go hiking or camping out? I used to put a tent in my backyard as a little boy. And we, my brother and I, we would, we would sleep outside sometimes. Um, but thank God that we have a variety. That he is so good that he gives us four different seasons. And they're all special in their own way. And it's just like sun. It's sunny today, thank heavens. But if it was always sunny, then we would never have any rain. And what do we need rain for? Any farmers know? Rex, do you know what we need rain for? Yeah, Rex. Yeah. You can't grow your corn and beans if you don't got rain. And you can't, uh, you can't grow anything if you don't have rain. So thank heavens that God knows when it's time to give us rain, when it's time to give us sun. He knows when it's time to give us snow so we can play and make snowmen and go sledding and throw snowballs at our brothers and sisters. And we know, but God knows when it's time for all of these things. Today, he says, there's a time when, we, when we're sad. There's a time when we're, we're laughing. It's okay to be sad sometimes, boys and girls. Sometimes things happen. We, we, maybe a friend moves away, or maybe an older sibling moves out of the house. It's okay to be sad sometimes, but it's also, God also gives us time to laugh. And he gives us time to mourn and a time to dance. A time to plant the seeds. And then a time once the seeds have done their thing and the corn and the beans have raised up because God gave them enough sunlight and enough rain, and then the farmers have to go and harvest it all. Okay, boys and girls, it's a good thing that we have such a good God that we have, that he knows when, it, there's a good song that maybe your teachers know, and it's by the birds. I was listening to it this morning. To everything, turn, turn, turn. There is a season, turn, turn, turn. And the time for every purpose under heaven a time to be born a time to die see that was after this i could sing the whole song but i'm not going to do that to you but boys and girls it's a good day by the way look at your neighbor's ear my nephew is in third grade 
and he's studying something in his school. Uh, he goes to a school called St. Vincent. There's such, such a thing as called the Darwin's tubercle. Now, not everybody has a Darwin's tubercle. tubercle. It's, it's a little thing on your ear, and it's like a little point. I have one on my right ear only. Some people have none. Some people have one on both ears. Some people have only one on one ear. Look at your neighbor and see if you can find one. It's, it's right on the edge of the ear. Don't look in the ear, but right on the edge of the ear, and it's like a little point. It's not like a huge point. Let me see if, let me see if Bram, Bram and Lincoln have one. Neither of those guys, three out of five people have one. Anybody see one in your neighbor? Raise your hand if you see one in your neighbor. We'll practice later. Okay, boys and girls, God bless you. But God, that's how good God is. Sometimes he puts a little extra something on somebody. And, it's, uh, and we just never know what God is up to. But he always knows what he's doing. Okay, let's pray the blessing of Almighty God this morning. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Church and throughout the world for Francis L. Pope, Archbishop Thompson, and Father Mike, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. For our president and all leaders, may they lead with justice and work. Together we for peace in the world, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For all St. Joe's students, teachers, and staff, may they shine the light of Jesus through their words and actions. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For Father Mike, for whom this Mass is being offered for, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. Almighty God, we place before you these prayers and all your mercy and in your love, we ask you to answer these prayers through Christ our Lord. who humbled himself to share in our humility. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine, work of human hands, it will become our spiritual food.
Wash me, O oh Lord, from my iniquities and cleanse me from my sins. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours will be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. O Lord, who gave us your Son to rescue us graciously from death and from every evil, accept, we pray, in mercy this sacrifice which we offer you in thanksgiving for our deliverance from distress. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for although you have no need of our praise, yet our thanksgiving is itself your gift. Since our praises add nothing to your greatness, but profit us for salvation through Christ our Lord. And so, in company with all the choirs of angels, we praise you, and with joy we proclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of heaven, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Charles, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, 
hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom and the power and the glory are yours. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God, you say Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. How can I repay the Lord for all his goodness to me? The chalice of salvation I will raise, and I will call on the name of the Lord. Let me now pray the Lord's blessing on our first graders here, our kindergartners, and our second graders. May Almighty God be in your hearts and give you a spiritual communion. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.
confessed our lips as food, O Lord, may we possess the purity of heart, that what has been given to us in time may be our healing for eternity. Be our protection against the wickedness and sins.
Nice. 